On May 2, 2020, in Rostock, Germany, the world's most powerful offshore crane, the HLC-295000, collapsed during its first big test. Built to lift an impossible 5,000 tons, it snapped in front of stunned workers and executives, turning a $60 million engineering marvel into a twisted wreck in seconds. What was supposed to prove its strength instead exposed its greatest weakness. Yet that collapse wasn't the final chapter. It was the spark of something bigger, a rebuild, a reinvention, a fight to prove that even the strongest giants can stumble, crash to the ground, and still rise again, forged harder than steel. Out of tragedy came determination, and out of failure came the birth of machines no one thought possible. When you look at offshore construction, you realize just how small humans really are. Out in the North Sea or the Atlantic, companies build platforms that weigh tens of thousands of tons, with modules taller than apartment blocks and heavier than whole city blocks. The question was always the same. How do you lift something that big in waters that violent? For decades, the industry was stuck with cranes that simply weren't powerful or stable enough. Then came a game changer, the HLC 295,000. This was no ordinary crane. It was built for a single purpose, to take on the impossible. Once installed on the Orion vessel, it rose like a skyscraper on the waves. Its boom stretched 145 meters, longer than a football field, reaching out to pluck giant modules off barges and set them precisely onto wind farm foundations or oil rigs. The lifting height, a jaw-dropping 175 meters above the deck. To put it in perspective, that's taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza sitting on top of the Statue of Liberty. And then there's the raw power. This beast could lift 5,000 metric tons at a radius of 35 meters. Think about that, 5,000 tons. That's 20 empty Boeing 747s, or 2,000 fully grown elephants dangling over the sea. And yet for all its brute force, it wasn't just about raw lifting. The crane's control systems were like a surgeon's hand. Operators could maneuver those impossible loads with centimeter level precision, even while the entire vessel shifted under the ocean's waves. But here's the part that really blows people's minds. Imagine trying to do all that on a floating platform. The sea is never still. Even on calm days, the Orion was rolling, pitching, and heaving. So, how do you keep a crane this massive stable when the floor beneath it is always moving? The answer lay in an invisible system, one as important as the crane itself. The Orion's secret weapon was its ballasting system, shifting thousands of tons of seawater in seconds to counter every tilt keeping the 216-meter giant steady even on rolling waves. But in May 2020, in Rostock, Germany, the HLC 295,000 faced its true trial, the overload test. The mission lift 5,500 tons, 500 beyond its limit. Success would cement its legend, failure would stain years of work. The air was tense as cables strained and steel groaned. Slowly, the load began to rise. By 2,600 tons halfway there, the crowd fell silent, daring to believe the impossible machine was unstoppable. Then it happened. Without warning, the sound of snapping metal split the air. A sudden, sharp crack, like a gunshot, but magnified a hundred times over. The crowd froze. It wasn't the boom. It wasn't the massive frame, but the crane hook the critical lifeline carrying the entire weight, a component supplied externally, trusted to hold, gave way in an instant. The effect was catastrophic. In seconds, the balance was lost. The boom buckled under its own momentum, steel twisted like paper, and the air filled with the unholy shriek of tearing metal. Alarms blared across the shipyard. Workers ran for cover as cables whipped through the air with lethal force. Something designed to move with grace and precision now collapsed like a giant toy tossed aside by the sea. 
The chaos that followed was raw and terrifying. Dust and sparks filled the air, and debris scattered across the platform. Two workers were rushed to the hospital with injuries, and ten more were treated at the site. The miracle was not how the crane had failed, but how no lives had been lost in a disaster that could have easily turned deadly. When the dust settled, the scale of destruction was overwhelming. A machine worth over $60 million lay crippled before its creators. Years of engineering brilliance, undone not by the crane's own frame, but by a single weak link. The financial toll was immediate. Tens of millions in repair costs, months of delays, and the Orion's delivery schedule thrown into chaos. But beyond money, it was a blow to pride, to confidence, to the idea that this Leviathan was unshakable. The $60 million meltdown was no longer a headline waiting to happen. It was real, twisted steel lying in front of them, a brutal reminder that even giants have breaking points. For the industry, it was a nightmare. If a crane this advanced could fail so spectacularly, what did that mean for the future of offshore construction? Confidence was shaken, investors alarmed. But here's the thing about heavy industry. It doesn't fold under pressure, it rebuilds. Investigators poured over every detail. What exactly failed? Why? How could it be prevented? The answer pointed back to the hook, the weakest link in the chain. It wasn't a failure of the overall design, but of a supplied component. That didn't make the disaster less costly, but it did open the door to rebuilding smarter, stronger, safer. By September 2020, reconstruction had already begun. New steel went into place. Reinforcements were added. Testing protocols were rewritten with stricter safety margins. And by May 2022, just two years after the collapse, the HLC 295,000 stood tall again, this time stronger than before. The reborn crane wasn't just a machine repaired, it was a symbol of resilience. The first major project after the rebuild, Scotland's Moray East Offshore Wind Farm. There, it installed turbine foundations weighing thousands of tons each, lining the horizon with clean energy for millions of homes. The same steel boom that once crumpled is now placed next-generation wind turbines with surgical accuracy. Looking at it now, you almost forget the collapse. You see the clean lines, the towering boom, the sheer presence of the crane at sea, and you think, this is what progress looks like. But buried in its steel is the memory of that day in 2020 when the unthinkable happened. And maybe that's why it matters. Because real progress doesn't come from never failing. It comes from failing, learning, and daring to try again. In the end, the $60 million meltdown wasn't the end of the HLC 295,000. It was the turning point. Humbled but rebuilt, it rose stronger proving that even when giants fall, they can stand again and keep lifting the impossible. Stay safe, stay aware, and if you found this breakdown eye-opening, make sure to subscribe and stick around.